history You hear about this and you read about that I don't want to look at Grumpy Cat This is how to watch TV What's that I hear? You hear the lost finale It's not your fault Come up in network. This is how to watch TV. I'll come up in network. Ba, 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 ba. This is how to watch TV. Chronologically lost. My name is Joel. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I fucked. My that name up. is Jenna, and we're together on. Damn it. Brought to you by. Whatever. Well done. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just pull this back about fifteen seconds and. <laughs> I that lost it. Genius. I'll leave it both in. <laughs> Chronologically lost with Joel and Jenna. My name's Joel. My name is Jenna. We're brought to you again by Come Up His Network. Always. What? Always. Again. Yeah, I know. Always, today. though. Every day. Um, We're brought to you by Come Up His Network. <laughs> I forgot my, the rest of my line. <laughs> oh, my God. Um... Check us out on the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not going to play the end. <laughs> like, what is it? It's been two weeks. I forgot everything. Yeah, I forgot everything. Well, whatever. As you said a minute ago, as she's just she came in and said, they're all dead, so it doesn't matter anyway. Right. And do oh. we have, like, a follower? I mean, who's listening? Do you know if we screw up the intro? <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, I would imagine if anybody's listened to any of them, they know we do the same thing. Oh, okay. Every- it doesn't really matter. It's just kind That's of right. funny. Um, okay, so we are talking chronologically lost episode ninety eight epilogue part do 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 o d e d d u e x like do, do like deuce like deuces. That's d u e c d e u d u e x part do do would be like Mountain Dew, right? D e w. But sometimes a u- e x makes it u. No. I don't think so. Probably not. Dukes? Yeah. Like Dukes of Hazard. Exactly like Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It was a good episode. Everybody, I don't remember. I watched it two weeks ago. Everybody's getting all weird. You know, everybody's acting all weird about things. And yes. Like acknowledging how weird it is. And I didn't, I don't remember it happening so quickly. But we also haven't gotten any of Jack yet, have we, in the. No. In the sideways. Like, did he go He's home He's not yet? dead yet. Okay. But, well, I guess Kate would have died. No, Jack died before Kate. Right. But okay. they were all dead at this point. But we haven't seen dead Jack. That's what I'm saying. We haven't seen dead Jack. Yes, we have. We've seen dead yeah, Jack at, in, the uh, at the airport. airport. Did he go home? Because I thought... He, he would have gone to his dad's funeral. Okay, so we haven't seen that. We haven't seen the funeral yet. I don't yet. think we do see that. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Yes, I thought maybe not. Well, we pick up back in the hospital where Desmond is being examined after the crash. Uh, the crash. <laughs> Jesus, this is what I get for Are two beers earlier. Are they examining his crash? <laughs> examining his crash. Hashtag crash examination. Oh, good stuff. Good Fuck. stuff. Um, We're on point tonight. Yes, yeah, right. I totally didn't have two beers earlier. And this is my third. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, totally did not do that. I... Because if I had, that would have been, I'd probably be saying things like cratch. Oh, cratch. Cratchity. Yeah. I'd be a little cratchity. <laughs> uh, she asked if he's had any hallucinations, and uh, he sort of doesn't know how to respond to that because he's totally had hallucinations. Just say yes. That's Ooh. the answer you're looking for. Desmond. She asked him if he was having hallucinations. Right. Yeah. No, it's very specifically. Yeah. I saw this dude put his hand on it and said, not Penny's boat on his hand. Yeah, that yeah. was a hallucination for sure. But maybe but he doesn't he's like, realize that it's mm. a hallucination? He doesn't realize it's real and that he has to remember it. He thinks it's a hallucin- it has to be a hallucination. What else could he possibly think it is? Deja vu? He's looking for Charlie, but they send him for an MRI and ask if he has any metal in his body. I don't know. It just something reminded me of... The hatch there, where it was like you can't be around. Well, yeah, that's you can't the point. Around. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, Charles Widmore is his emergency contact. Yeah. And the guy's like, "Oh, I forgot to give you the button." Yeah. yeah I mean, good stuff. Uh, Panic he flash- button. He flashes uh, to Charlie and Penny, 
and seems to remember his child being born and all the things real quick. Yeah. But then he doesn't remember them. Like, he remembers that there's a person named Penny, but he doesn't know what she looks like, well, even he though he saw her. No, he was flashing. He wasn't. He was remembering. That's the remember look, or the the, the tone of the, the video. It's them remembering yeah. the past. But but then he... Or their life, When he rather. flashed back and he was in the MRI machine, I think at that point he was like... But well, he didn't flash sec- away from there. No, he didn't. He was just remembering, and right. I get that. But I think that he was... Because later he does at flash. At that point going, well, so is this what Charlie was talking about? Seeing the person that you love, or whatever. Yeah, fair. but he, for some reason he didn't like specifically remember her. He just remembered the name Penny. Well, no, he saw her face, and he put the Penny together because it said not Penny's boat. So I think that he... Okay, so he was specifically then looking for that Penny, as opposed to just a girl named Penny. Right. Okay. Um, Let's see. Uh, He goes looking for Charlie. He hits the panic button and gets out of there and goes looking for Charlie again. Jack happens to be walking behind the desk, and he's like, weren't you on the plane? And uh, Charlie runs past them, and he chases them down the stairs. He says he's running because no one can help him. He was trying to help Desmond see something. And Desmond's like checking his hands to make sure it doesn't have anything written on it. And Charlie wants to know what he saw. And then Desmond asks him, who's Penny? Charlie says, none of this matters. He's not going to play the concert. The only thing that matters is that we felt it. Stop worrying about me and start looking for Penny. But how does Charlie know? Because because Charlie died, remember? Has he been dead longer? Charlie died on the airplane. Or was dying on the airplane. And he saw Claire, and he was bathed by the white light of Claire at the time. And that's why he was so mad when Jack rescued him. Because he died when because he, was he was Because he was, okay, you know, <laughs> we've been through this. They can die Just when saying. they're dead. Okay. And there Somebody are Somebody posted the other day. I, I Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Because I was like, oh my God, that's the exact same conversation that we just had the other day. And it's always so fun when, pe- of course, I can't comment on it because they'd be like, you're crazy. What do you mean? People were talking about Lost or people were talking about just in, ju- in Death. real life? What's that guy's name? I mean, Death. I don't know what we're doing right now. Are we podcasting? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to look up the thing about... Um, about squeaky chairs. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. Oh my god, I can't think of his name at all. He posted a thing, and it was like all about how when your when your life is over and you see the bright light, and it's just a um the tunnel opening for your birth, whatever. The tunnel is the that tunnel, what we're calling yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> tunnel to your birth. The love the tunnel. The love tunnel, and then it opens <laughs> up, and then you don't forget. Your old life, like your your memories aren't wiped, but once you start living, then you learn that this is a better life, and, you, and or you those learn the memories new fade away, and whatever. Th- your old memories get replaced by your new yeah, ones. Yeah, it was totally like the conversations that we've had. Okay, the circle of life, you know. But I mean, the like one thing that it's saying that right there, right. <laughs> <laughs> But I remember I've had this conversation with mom before and she's always said no matter no matter what she just wants to make sure that she never comes back as a dog. Why? <laughs> because that would suck to be a dog. Why would it suck to be a dog? To rely on other people for your food and whether or not you're going to go in or out or go pee or you know but like But you have a brain that is not and capable you can't of talk. cognitive reasoning. You can't talk. It doesn't matter. But you what don't if need you to. can? What if dogs are happy as shit? What if you no. Dogs some, aren't some, happy. Some are happy. You don't think the dogs out there are happy? No, I don't know. I think they're miserable unless they're being pet or laying in their well, thing. Anyway. Being, anyway. Desmond calls Charles Widmore, because that was a good pivot back to it. <laughs> Desmond calls Charles Widmore to to relay that Charlie's gone. And Charles tell him that, you know, if you want to, you go tell Mrs. Widmore about the bloody concert. Or that it's only a bloody concert, right. rather. Um, we go to the opening, white lost. White screen lost. Oh, Sweet. that was the second one, right? Yes. Okay. Only the epilogue will be that way. Who is texting me? Why is everybody texting me? Jesus. I think his name is Todd. Got it. Found it. 
Um, and it's close enough to the porch. Just text me when you're uh, okay. What anyway. if when we die, the light at the end of the tunnel is the light to another hospital room where you, we are born, and the only reason you come out crying is because you remember everything from your past life, and you're crying at the fact that you died and lost everything. As you grow, you start to forget your past life and focus on the life you have now, but patches of memory stay behind, and that memory it causes deja vu. Think about that for a second. Is what it says. I already thought about that in my past life. I know. <clears throat> oh, we already talked about that last week. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, let's see. So we go to Locke's house. He's bathing, and Helen is planning the wedding. She offers to elope and just invite her parents and his dad. So his dad's part of his life here. Um, he says he she, murdered him already. He says she deserves better, and she finds Jack's card in his pants and thinks he should call for a free consult. Maybe it's destiny. And Locke seems to be playing along at this point. Why isn't Locke friends with his mom? Because she gave him up for adoption. So did his dad. The dad didn't know he existed Mm. for a bit. Maybe. Why are you suspicious of that? (laughs) I mean, I thought the mom was a great character. She was the worst. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was terrible. (laughs) Um, we go to a limo outside the concert venue and Minkowski, who's been, been pretty interesting in this role compared to what he was on the show, but he was, he was flashing in the show. He was losing himself. Oh yeah. So like, he was going crazy, but he's really funny. He is good. Uh, he opens the door for Desmond and tells him good luck with the boss's wife. Uh, she's given some grief to like some waiters or whatever. And, uh, she introduces herself to Desmond as Eloise. And so was this the only time that we saw her at this concert, concert venue? It's the first time we have, yeah. The only time in the whole show? No. I don't think so. I... That's why I was trying to figure out if this was... At this concert venue? Yeah. 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 This was the only time that she was at this scene. Right. So I think... I feel like this part was some epiphanies on the show. Like, we're like, oh my god, you know, like... I don't remember. I, f- I thought that this was exciting well that she was his wife that was interesting you know we didn't know that it was going to be eloise um well i thought that there might have been a glimpse that she knew here too that she knew what was going on right at the very beginning i mean like when he introduced himself well but she she does know she does know though because she you know she calls him on it here very shortly but I just caught a glimpse of it. it was like, oh, fuck, she knows. Just That's like, just because she's awesome. She Let's is just, pretty good. I mean. Uh, he explains the drive. Why didn't she play the next door mom on Everybody Loves Raymond? What's wrong with the other lady? She's the worst human. I she's mean, dead. She's, so let's yeah, be Yeah, nice. exactly. You can't libel the dead. <laughs> she was a piece of shit. And that character was terrible for the show. It, it cannibalized. It, it made Deborah look like. It made them like, eat each other? It cannibalized any <laughs> comedy for me. I mean, honestly, like cannibalized. How she does was that not, become the word that you she's go not, to? <laughs> it wasn't. It it wasn't reasonable at all. No, it and, was so over the top. Nobody would have put wife. up. Nobody would have put up with it. And, and she had every right to because nobody was fucking acknowledging that the mom was a psychopath. Okay, but. And she's like, why is nobody seeing this? Like we are watching yeah, it. I get that. Fuming. But the wife was equally as irritating. Like she was you the can't worst. put anybody as equally as irritating as the mom. She was a fucking asshole. They'd be living their lives and she'd come over and fuck shit up on purpose. Yeah. Deborah was not that way. She would take revenge back sort of if she could but it never really worked i guess she was just struggling have you been re-watching some everybody loves raymond no this is all spun off of the uh the, the mom i just don't like the mom i think she sucks as the character the on dad there. was pretty awful he was too. great <laughs> it was funny he was funny yeah i mean he made he said terrible things oh, but like you remember it, the gross like brother-in-law or you mean robert the, no the one with all the he was in something about Mary with all the disgusting hives all over his face. Oh yeah. Um uh, oh, blah, God. Blah, blah. what's his name? He's Chris the something. most disgusting actor on the face of the earth. It's, he's so good. I mean that show No. That show Get a Life. I don't know was, what that is. Oh God. It was so ridiculous. It doesn't hold up at all, but it was really I mean, funny at the time. I can't get on board with Curb Your Enthusiasm. So Why? What's I don't, wrong with that? It just I don't 
he's too old and gross for all the dick jokes. I just can't get it. That never gets unfunny though. No, he's we're always, gross. We're all he's be always dick jokes. no. He always has a boner in the show, and I just what are you can't. talking about? He Every episode that I like catch, he's like in the dressing room taking his pants off, and like I'm like, no, you're not. It's funny. so funny. I can't. I can't. It's such a good show. It's Seinfeld, but no, it, but it, not Jerry. Jerry is great. But what? But season seven was a Seinfeld reunion. I haven't seen that. Maybe I'll watch it's that. It's so good. I mean, and Larry makes it. You know what I mean? Like, it's so fucking funny. I don't know. I don't get how people. I mean, I could see well, people being like, annoyed by some the of first, the arguments. The first like three episodes, and I just couldn't of the show altogether. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not great. Then it's finding it. The first f- ten episodes of Seinfeld were meh. The first three episodes of Game of Thrones were amazing. Yeah, but it's not a okay. sitcom. I mean, you can't just... I don't know. It took a little bit for it to find itself. And once he found his voice, I would say jump in anywhere after season three. Like, it's really... Maybe. You don't have to... It doesn't have, like, continuing story, so I to mean, speak. I mean, like, Community but, was good. Yeah. Yeah, that was good right off the bat. Yeah. All right. And we're and, back. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so anyway, uh, he explains that Drive Shaft won't be able to play. And she's like, yeah, whatever. Okay. When one employs rock stars, a bit of unpredictability is natural. I, I mean, what, She's the, so the cute. Fu- what 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 happened happened? She says. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she thanks him, and then he hears someone say "penny" on a list, like a maitre d' kind of thing, like reading off some shit. And he asks for the list, and Eloise shuts that shit down. But why? So know. now in this case, we're trying, we're th- supposed to be thinking that maybe she's shutting it down because she doesn't want him to remember his past life. But I think that she was shutting it down because, oh my God, because she doesn't like Penny because she is the other kid from her husband. Did you ever think about it that way? So is it is it because... <laughs> <laughs> it's my new favorite thing drawing notes and drawing pictures of things that's true pen a pen a um like gen a right um no she knows shit okay she but says I'm it's saying... too soon i don't think you, you so you're saying it's like an extra kick for her that he's interested no she knows about penny she's i don't think it's about that for her i don't think she's still jealous of it even in this afterlife version Still okay. upset with Charles. She's still with Charles at this point. I so. understand, but that's not to say that he he still had Penny because she still exists. Correct. Well, uh, yes. I mean, t- t- yes, She's she exists. Dead. Right. There. So okay. She really exists. But why? David doesn't really exist, but he was there. Who? Exactly. Jack's son. Oh, he exists, we didn't, did we but then him? he just disappears when he goes. I mean, once once Jack real once Jack why remembers, why was Daniel's dis- last name Widmore? Because the parents didn't get divorced. They did, but they didn't in this. So when they all meet at the church, then then Daniel's gonna be like, "Oh, my last name is Faraday." He wasn't on the plane. What? Faraday wasn't on the plane. So he doesn't get to go to the church? He doesn't go to the church with so, them. Daniel, I mean, can we talk about this episode? Daniel and <laughs> Eloise are just going to hang out at this concert venue for eternity? They don't They're just stay stuck at the there? concert. I don't believe they stay at the concert now. Okay. So Daniel watches from the piano as all this shit happens. Because um, he's still she single tells, and 35. She tells Desmond to shut up and listen, and she wants him to stop. He's, his behavior is a violation. She tells him to stop looking for whatever he's looking for. Okay, and, but uh, I'm, again, it's a violation. She doesn't say what it's a violation of. It could just be a violation of his code of conduct for working for Widmore. She doesn't want she's him. Talk, she knows. I she get probably, that she knows. Well, do you think maybe she constructed this this place? Maybe. Maybe she, she set all this shit up. She's the architect. Yes. She's always been the one that's been in the know the most out of anybody. In, in all the different levels So and why wasn't years. she a candidate? Because she, her role was what it was. It is what it is? Whatever happened, happened. No, don't change it. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's trying to hang on to... Uh, you know, I think she's trying to hang on to the precious time with her son that she didn't get in her real life. Yeah, so they're going to be stuck at this concert venue forever. She's I mean, going to always she's, be... But Faraday became a exist. musician. 
rather than a scientist in this version. So they got to spend, they at least remember spending all that time together of, of him growing up. In theory, you remember your whole childhood in this reality. And if this one is that different, that he became a musician, then he grew up with his mom. Okay. You know, and that's, I think that's maybe what she. I thought he always grew up with his mom. No, she like, well, I mean, it's not that she didn't raise him. It's that well, she sent him away. Widmore or she was, was at not the part island. of her life or his life. Right. She okay. wasn't at the island. No, fair enough. She was with him. She but, raised him. But he died so young. So, I don't know. I guess she just got to do it over again then, really. I thought of a, I thought of well, but she was always pushing. I mean, him I to guess it would be before. really cool if we all get to die and then come back as the same person, yeah, and then just do it over and over again. Right, that would be awesome. It would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, like I'd be okay with that. But I think I would want to know like that I died and remember that other life, because I would totally make changes the second time around. You know, like you could be like, oh, that one person that I was friends with for all those years, fuck that. Right. Skip over that. I'm just gonna be friends with this other person first. And, and well, if you remember the stuff, then yeah, because then you're you're going to have learned the lesson that you learned from yeah. befriending. Or you're them. like born and instantly hate people, and they're all like, <clears throat> "Why does Sally hate me?" Well, because she remembers that you were a cunt in the last life. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> um. So okay. he asks if she knows what he's looking for, and. She doesn't know why he's looking for anything. She's like, you have the perfect life and you've attained the, the thing you wanted more than anything. My husband's approval, which, so she has to know. Like, she knows that that's what he wants. And But it's, I mean, it's possible that maybe Desmond growing up always wanted to be like Widmore, you know. So, I mean, it could be odes to things that actually happened in this afterlife. In this version, maybe. Yeah. Um, she says he's not ready yet to see the list. I'm just trying to argue with you no matter what you that's say. That's fine. Okay. But she said that. So, okay. So. Uh, he gets back in the limo and has a drink, and Widmore knocks on the window. Daniel Widmore. Right. Uh, he apologizes for Charlie again, and Dan, as he likes to be called, asks if he believes in love at first sight. He saw a woman eating chocolate a few weeks ago. Do you remember her eating chocolate? Eating chocolate? Little baby Char Charlotte sitting on the swing? My mommy got so mad when I ate the chocolate or something. That was one oh, of the things she said. Oh, a few weeks said. ago? No, in the that 70s. That was a long time ago. Right. It was a long-ass time ago. No, he says he saw a woman eating chocolate a few weeks ago. He was talking about Charlotte. I get it. Yeah. I knew who he was talking about. As soon as he saw her, it was like he already loved her. Uh, that's when things got weird. He woke up and wrote a bunch of space-time stuff that night in quantum physics. And uh, only someone who studied their whole life could have come up with it. And... He he says, imagine something terrible is about to happen. The only way to stop it was to release a huge amount of energy, like setting off a nuclear bomb. And he's like, what if this, all of this was supposed to be our life, or all this wasn't supposed to be our life? What if we had some other life? For some reason, we changed things. I don't want to set off a nuclear bomb. I think I already did. I mean, good stuff. I mean, I'm but riveted he anytime he's on screen. But he th was talking about... The bomb in the 70s. Right. I mean, no, that's what they were alluding to. Right. Right. Because we didn't know whether or not it actually went off. Correct. Um, Dan asked why his mom, uh, why, Dan asked why he asked his mom about Penny. And he's, he's like, you felt it, didn't you? You felt love. He's like, eh, I don't even know if she exists. She's an idea. He's like, yeah, no, she's totally my half sister. Uh, I can tell you exactly where and when he can find her. I thought that was a weird way to say it. Where and when, when? Is it considering yeah, like... it's Faraday. Um, we go to the hospital. Claire's ultrasound says 102204. I have a problem with that. It has not been a month Why not? since they've been back. A month? Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. She was... She wasn't due for like six weeks or something when she landed, right? She gave birth in the first season. Yeah, but it was only a few weeks on <sighs> to the island. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll move on. I can take that. I mean, uh, detectives show up looking for Joan Hart, aka Kate. Claire covers I for her. I guess it feels like it's did. been two days. Since what? Since they landed. Mm hmm. It doesn't feel like it's been a long time, but 
who knows? Maybe it has. Well, wasn't the stolen um, taxi like still out front? No, <laughs> no, they weren't. That's, they drove it. up to the hospital in the stolen taxi. Maybe it's still sitting and there, just yes. left it there, right. and then walked into the hospital. So now they've been there for a month. Right, exactly. Okay, it doesn't make I mean, sense. I guess I, I, well, unless this is a follow up, it could be. But why would Kate right, and Claire exactly. still be together after a month? You're with me now. Okay, yeah, sorry. Back. I'm, okay. Ba- I'm, I'm on the same page. So Claire asked her what she did, and Kate asked if she believed if she'd believe her if she said she was innocent. And she's like, yeah. So then you don't have to fucking tell her. Why wouldn't you just then right. tell her? Oh, I murdered my dad. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. No, wait. <laughs> she said she was innocent. They think I murdered my dad. They think, yeah, I totally didn't. Somebody murdered <clears throat> my dad, though. I didn't just murder wasn't my dad. Just me. He wasn't really my dad. He was, though. Mm. He actually was her dad. Oh, yeah, shut up. Uh, she gives Kate her credit card, because that's what people do. Yeah, here, max it out. I'll just call in Stolen. Right. She uh, says Aaron is a great name, and she's like, I don't even know why I said it. It was like I knew it or something, and she tells her to keep Aaron. Not the name, but the baby. Um, let's see. At the airport, Jen is yeah, released. Yeah, because Kate's like, I don't want to raise that little asshole right, again. fuck that. I'm done with him. <laughs> he sucked. Uh, at the airport, Jen gets released, and they give him his watch, but keep the 25 Oh, grand. see? So he's still at the airport a month later? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't... <laughs> it's not a month. I didn't realize that's the That's a prop fuck up. Okay. Yeah. That's clearly a prop fuck up. So he missed the meeting at the restaurant, and the money was given to him the night before they left. He was supposed to deliver it with the watch, and he's like, I don't ask your father questions. He's acting weird to her, you know, at this point. Um, we then go to the Desmond Stadium, and Penny's running the steps this time. Yes, and we just talked about that stadium last right. last week. He stops, or she stops and asks, he asks if she's Penny, and he introduces himself, and they shake hands, and clearly he flashes back to the island at that point. So what does that mean? That Penny, the shock of touching Penny, sent him back. He flashed then back to on the island. He flashed back to his real life. Yeah. So was that when he flashed too? When um. This wasn't like when Widmore. I don't when think he this put is him when into he, that thing with all the electromagnetism. Maybe it was that because it flashed him to a place where. It, he was in the afterlife. Right, so maybe just then he... So he knew he was going to see Penny again? Interesting. Um, so he wakes back up and asks what happened, and she's like, yeah, I shook your hand and you fainted. I must have quite an effect on you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he asks her out and she agrees. I mean, it was so touching. They have such chemistry. It was really cute, you yeah. Know, I don't know what it is. Just like her genuine happy and his like, oh my God, she's going to say yes. Right. You know, there's just something about that that's She's super charming. She's a super cute girl. So, yeah. I mean, the way that she talks is adorable. And... Right, the, the the accent and everything. So he goes back to the limo, and Minkowski asks if he found what he's looking for. And if there's anything else he could do for him, just name it. And he's like, get me the flight manifest from 815. I just need to show them something. So, Show them that they so he met can Penny. remember. Things? Right. So presumably he's he he remembers now. So he's going to find all of them to help them remember. Okay. So you said that Daniel wasn't going to the church. Dan. Because, whatever. Because he wasn't on the plane. Well, that's not the reason he's not going. I want to know the reason. Because he's not part of that. That's that's not. That group of people is not the most important time in his life. Why wouldn't it have been? He finally got to the island. I know, but... And and his, and Charlotte seemed to be part of it because she was with... Like I, So I'm not understanding why he was left out of this because Daniel was not... Or, I'm sorry. Dan? Not Dan. Desmond was not on the plane. So why was he in the church? You know what I'm saying? And why would the Okay, we'll why get would to the why island are the people be, in the church? Why would on the that island episode? be the most part most important part of Desmond's life? Why wouldn't being with Penny? Cuz he was saving the world, brother. He wasn't though. He was doing nothing. He was saving the world. He was pushing the button. I mean, when they stopped pushing the button, the world did not end. Because he turned the key. 
and release the energy. And if he didn't, the whole island would have exploded? Everything would have imploded, potentially. Like the, I mean, so he just made the energy go poof into the air and yes. go nowhere? Dissipate, yes. How, why didn't somebody do that 40 years before? Because they so were that afraid they didn't to have do to it. Because they were afraid to do the, the fail-safe. Somebody know what's had to happen. build the fail-safe key. Somebody also had to be able to withstand it. You know, and for some reason, Desmond was able to. Not like he knew that when he turned the key, but... Uh, somebody was able to build this key box really close to it, uh -huh. but they couldn't turn the key. Yeah, and who knows what the key do even turns. You know, what does that do? The key turns, and then it's just like a release valve? No, it turns, and then there's some, like, animals pushing a donkey wheel, okay. like, 40 feet underground, and... <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Bears can't move donkey wheels. Okay. Uh, Jen and son at the hotel, they have an, a beautiful ocean view room on the eighth floor. I was like, I swear to God, if it's room 15. Um, Jen says, no, two rooms, not married. Jin Kwan, Sun Pike, and room 842 for Jen. Yeah. Which, remember their number? 42? Yep. Sawyer is nailing what appears to be a redhead, but I guess it wasn't. It was the girl from Prison Break. Oh, it wasn't Charlotte? No. Oh god, I was I was not I must not have been paying attention then. Later, Charlotte. Oh. But okay. the first one yes, when the first he when one we find out he's Charlotte. a cop. It You're was right. not Charlotte. It was um God, I can't Sarah. remember. Sarah. Not Sarah Tancredi. The the girl from like season three of Prison Break. The dark haired girl. Oh, I don't remember. Gretchen. Yes. It was Gretchen. Um she was also in How I Met Your Mother. For like an episode or two, mm -hmm. so uh, he was supposed to meet someone at nine. He does the whole thing with the with the briefcase. She's like, whatever. That's the pigeon drop. I know that. My husband's a con man. Blah blah blah. How stupid do you think I am? Um, she calls his bluff about be them being surrounded, and he says the magic word, the fleur. Yeah. And Miles busts in with along with everybody else. So Miles is his partner. Is the revelation here? Pretty good. Um, Jen knocks on son's door and, uh, says he's going to the restaurant. She invites him in. He implies she's only in America for shopping. And she's like, do you really think that to me? And unbuttons her top, her top button. And she's like, do you want me to button it? Yeah. You know, making fun of him for the plane stuff. So it was interesting that it wasn't for the same reason. Right. It was not because he... Is that prim and proper? It was I don't want anybody thinking we're a couple or an item. So button that shit. Yeah. Which you know. Or cool twist don't on give it. me a boner. Button that shit. Fair enough. Yeah, because <laughs> Jenna doesn't like it if you have a boner. I know and you're it's not slightly funny old. at all. It's not funny. It's, boners aren't funny. Hashtag not funny boners. You know what you didn't do today? You didn't put anything on the board. Oh. I did forget that. So um, that's because they're all dead. She takes her shirt off and they do it. Basically, did they show that she just keeps unbuttoning and yeah, they did the implied <laughs> falling together out of frame. Oh, I see. Okay. They fall below the camera, so it's like oh, they must hit the bed. Ugh. Uh, Saeed at two thirty in the morning is woken up by his brother who's in trouble. He brought money, and even though he paid it back, they're like, yeah, no, we want money every month, and uh, as long as your I business runs. I didn't know you runs, could do that to people because. Why aren't we doing that? Through RDS? <laughs> Why are we just doing that? Why are we doing that? Like, um, yeah, I know that we told you it was only going to cost that much, but now I'm going to bill you this much. But the pay threat is death. Every month. Or harm to family members. Or I will send this terrible virus over to your computer. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, like, it, it just seems so logical. Just threaten people and get the money that you need and you're good. My partner, everyone. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, his brother asks or knows he was an interrogator in the Republican Guard and asks Saeed to talk to him and he's like I know you care about Nadia so he's like he knows that he pushed his who he wanted to be with and to, to him to his brother like the brother knows that that's weird he yeah like knows that he's into his wife and you know still married her anyway um and Saeed says kids. he's not that man anymore. Yeah, Saeed walks the kids across the street the next day. Shouldn't uh, he be traumatized about walking anyone across the street? Yeah. And he's just happily walking the kids. Like, yeah. no big deal. Okay, nobody's going to get hit by a bus today. I'm looking out. Right. Nadia runs out and gets hit by the bus. I mean, after he gets <laughs> the kids on the bus. 
um, at the hospital, Nadia's husband was mugged. Saeed's going to take care of it. And she's like, please don't. Go go wait for the kids and make them feel safe. So he does. He's a good guy. Um, good guy Saeed. Good guy Saeed. Good, good guy Eid. Guide. Um, we go to the box company. And Locke goes back to his desk. Randy comes up and asks about the conference. Turns out he never went. And uh, I like how they said that they, they, we sent you... We sent you to Sydney on our on the company's dime. That's the same line as when Locke was going on the walkabout or trying to, and they're like, "We'll send you back to Sydney on our dime." Right. You know, I just thought it was clever the way they worked some of the stuff in from that. Obviously, I just did that scene in an abandoned school recently when I found a wheelchair. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna have to use his vacation week that was set for his wedding, and he's like, "Yeah, no, you're fired." Um, he can't get into his van because of Hurley's Hummer. And he tries to open it into it, and it just stops just short. Remember, in this version, Hurley is the uh, luckiest man on Earth. Yeah. Well, and um, Locke's thing on his van stopped just short of opening when he got home from the airport, too. So it's like... Oh, it does that. The second time that he hasn't been able to get in or out <laughs> of his van. So he bangs on the Hummer, and then... Uh, I was just picturing him having sex on top of the Hummer. Anyway, um, he bangs on the back of the Hummer, and uh, now I'm just anyway. Okay. Uh, Hurley walks up and he reads him the riot act about parking. He's like, "You could have parked in that handicapped spot that's right fucking there." And he's like, "I don't have to." Well, then how are you gonna get total in and tangent out? here? But whenever I go to the grocery store, I always park in the Instacart spot. Because it's not anything legal. Nothing legality-wise. Instacart. It just says Instacart pickup. So, like, you shop online and then they bring it out to your car there. Yeah, yeah I don't care. I'm, I park there every time because it's always open. Oh, that's because you're a dick. Well, I guess. I mean, it's <laughs> not anything legal. It's some company that decided we're putting us... This is the official parking spot. It's nothing. Well, it's they're not, not They're patrolling it. Exactly. So. Um... So the, he says they were supposed to reserve a spot for him and because he owns a company. They shake hands, and he's like, yeah, Randy Nations just fired me. He's like, yeah, he's a giant douche. And so he sends him to a temp agency and tells him things are going to work out. Um, Detective James Ford is calling Anthony Coopers, claiming to have unclaimed property in their name. He just has to verify they were in Alabama in 1976. And uh, Miles asks who that is, and he's like, ah, it's a friend. It's getting me Liker tickets. Miles sets up Sawyer with a date with somebody that works with his dad at the museum. And uh, if he goes out with her and gives Miles a ticket, he'll lay off. And Miles can tell he's lying when he's talking about it. So, because um, there's a dead body next yes, to exactly. him. Yes, exactly. There's a dead body. <laughs> Uh, in the temp agency, the lady's asking Locke what kind of an spirit animal he'd describe himself as and asks if he's, uh, you know, a people person. He's like, can I fucking talk to your supervisor, bitch? It's like, like, hashtag no. Borfer. Hashtag Borfer, exactly. <laughs> the rose comes What's in. What's your spirit animal? Right. I think it's a boar. Yeah, hashtag boar. For, um, <laughs> rose comes in and he says he's just looking for a job as a construction site coordinator and she doesn't think it's a good fit and not because of experience. Just like, yeah, no, you clearly are in a wheelchair. I think you're in a wheelchair, so I'm not going to send you to a He name drops Hugo, and she's like, look, if you want to work construction, that's fine. You go. You'll come back here tomorrow, and we'll figure out the next thing for you. Um, She wants him to be more realistic, and then in doing so, tells him she has terminal cancer and says eventually she got past the denial part and got back to living, and she wants to help him. uh, She wants to tell him what he can do. I thought that was great. Yeah, but... Not what he Why can. does she have cancer when she's dead? What? Okay, you know, your question can't always be... I feel like cancer is something that should only affect us when we're alive, and if it's going to affect us in the afterlife, it's too, It's a metaphorical it really cancer. It's a figurative cancer. I feel like she thinks that she still has cancer. Correct. That's exactly it. Okay. She feels like she has cancer still because she does. She's dead. Right. She's gone. Doesn't know that, though, so she feels gone. like she's alive. <laughs> okay. It's just like dreams. But more vivid. Oh, but I see. We talked about this. I was hoping that it's not just going to be this long dream. What if this was a long dream? 
What if you woke this up? This feels like a really long dream. Fuck, this podcast? No, I meant in general life. Imagine if you just woke up tomorrow and like you were fourteen or something. I don't know. My dreams are really crazy. So I mean, usually when I have dreams, if I'm I like... don't smoke weed before bed, crazy dreams. Like uh, because well, like I I was going that's to sleep. Why my dreams are crazy. I was every going night. to sleep a little bit early recently, and like I hadn't gone out to the porch like normal, and like. I was having the craziest, most lucid dreams. And I can tell you every detail yeah. about my dreams. Like when they were putting that road in over Go ahead. There. We can go an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Tell me every, Sorry. Detail, um, every dream you've yeah, ever remembered. When they were putting that road <laughs> in, there was a time where I was concerned about it being like with puddles or whatever. It was raining okay. a lot or something. I had a dream that somehow Caden and Maddie wandered over there and like were playing in the puddles and stepped on like a sewer drain and went down into the sewers that were then filled with water. So then I had to jump down into the sewers and find them. And I could like remember reaching out to try and grab Maddie as she got sucked in the other direction. And then I just like woke up and like knew that she was dead you know, like, it's so crazy. So then I'm, like, staring at her in her bed, like, okay, she's alive. But I was wide awake for, like, the next four hours, because how do you go back to sleep after that? So Saeed's fixing a vase with glue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he told the kid's daddy he had an accident, and she asked if Omar told him about the loan, and he offers to pay it. And she's like, no, it's his responsibility. And she asked no, why let him he didn't get want to killed be with so her. we can be together. Yeah, she's like, why didn't he want to be with me? And he says, for the last twelve hands, he's been uh, twelve hands. The last twelve years, he's been trying to wash his hands of the terrible things he's done. He can't be with her because he doesn't deserve her. Now, wouldn't she get to decide that? I feel like she would, but he's waiting for uh, what's her name, Shannon. Anyway, no, that's the best part. He doesn't deserve Nadia. No, she's too good for him. He gets Shannon. He yeah. deserves her. He deserves Shannon because yeah. she's a piece of shit. Yeah, right. That's I love that that moral. <laughs> Uh, at Sawyer's date, uh, he spots Charlotte. They have dinner. She's an archaeologist, an Indiana Jones type. And he, she sees through his bullshit and calls him on it. He tells her he got to a point where he was going to be a criminal or a cop, so he chose cop. They do it. She just looks at him. He's like, what? You know what? Is that how it happens? I haven't dated since I was 18. So, like, I, is that how sex happens at thir- in the 30s? I don't... I'm married. I, know, I have no idea. I don't... I'm me- metaphorically asking. I'm, no, I'm nowadays asking. it happens like this. Like, I know, hey, but, you want to fuck? And they're like, But, sure. I mean, like, she literally <laughs> just kind of turned her head and smiled at him and looked at him. And he was like, what? And she's like, you know what? And then they're fucking. Like, what happened there? It's I, just... Okay. No idea. And I'll probably never, I hope to never know. Right. She sees Watership Down on his dresser and touches it before opening the drawers. She's looking for a shirt. Is she? Mm-hmm. She seems to be looking for, uh, fuck just happened there. She seems to be looking for something and she finds a photo of him and his dad and mom and a folder with the name Sawyer on it. And she looks through it and you know sees his parents died and he's being an asshole about it and kicks her out i mean that's pretty personal like why right. is she snooping she was definitely i mean i don't know it was weird like didn't he tell her which drawer to go in it looked like she was really rustling well, around what in was there. she supposed to be getting a, a shirt. condom oh a shirt a condom no just a shirt i mean i don't know hmm. i got nothing so she leaves. Um, then we go back to Locke, and his ar- his alarm is going off, and it's the hatch sound. Yeah, the alarm. Uh, I wonder if I can make that. Fuck! I need to make that on my phone and use that as like my alarm. Isn't it similar to the? It is, but it's not quite. Uh, he gets himself dressed and decides to call Jack, but he hangs up. Helen asks who it was, and he ends up telling her the truth that he had called Jack, and then also that uh, he got fired. And the doorbell rings, and Oceanic delivers the lost luggage. He says he lied about the conference in Sydney. Uh, he tells her to open the case, and it's the knives. They refer his walkabout, an adventure in the outback, just him against the wilderness. And they wouldn't let him go, and he shouted at them that they couldn't tell him what he can't do, but they were right. And he's sick of imagining what life could be 
out of this chair, what it would be like to walk down the aisle with her, because it's not going to happen. And if she needs him to keep, what are you looking at my drawing? I'm just doodling. Terrible. I'm literally just drawing the smoke monster. Okay. Uh, okay, it's gone. I'm glad. Really. <laughs> <laughs> um, he says like if she needs him to be out of the chair he'll keep making appointments and seeing people and you know if she needs to hope that he will someday then he'll go but he doesn't want her to waste her life waiting on a miracle and she's like there are miracles John and the only thing she ever wanted w- was you Yes, the only thing she was ever waiting for was you and she tears up, uh, she tears up Jack's card <laughs> And they kiss, and then boom, lost. Boom, lost. Boom, lost. So I mean, good. they're still good, and it's not. It doesn't even matter the stuff that's happening. So good, and they're all dead. They're all dead. They're dead this whole time in the epilogue. <sighs> dead. I'll try not to be, you know, <laughs> drinking before next week's episode. I mean, we. I think we nailed it. We did really you good. Think so it was amazing. Okay, you know why? Because this is how to watch TV and be drinking. See you later. All these memories in my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. I'm still a secret lemonade drinker.